No way! No! Did you see that? I came down to this rural location to find a forgotten 80s hatchback. Porsche involvement with the engine. Fiat Strada running gear. You have a guess? What is it? Shall we have a look? So you probably not guessed this car. I'm in a barn. Well, it's an old unit. As you can see, it's many, many different things in here. I'm actually on my travels in Europe and a friend of mine informed me. He told me, he said, uh, here we go. I got a really, really rare car stuck up in a barn. It's been in his ownership for a long time. As far as I know, the car was working many, many years ago, but it's been parked up because they had a slight issue with the gearbox. I think he said it was a shake around 70, 80 kilometers an hour, about 40, 50 miles an hour. So this is the car. What you can see in here, it's like, it's proper dust on it. Somebody put some energy drinks on the top, but uh, this is the car parked up for so long. I not actually had a look at it. It's, ooh, there is some mold. 134,000 kilometer. Not, not bad. Somebody ripped the stereo out from it. It's a bit dark in here. It's a bit monkey and dusty and horrible. <laughs> here we go. That's a, that's a proper door handle. But it has electric windows. So the plan is... Uh, I try to start this car. This car is actually produced from 1984. With the Porsche involvement. Uh, that's when they went to the Volkswagen group. Seat. Seat Ibiza is this car. Uh, a 1.5 petrol but from this model they made a 1.7 they made a turbo one as well as far as I know they two engine types they made one of them was 90 and the other one was 100 horsepower ish so uh, I'm not sure which one is this one I don't know that yet but we're gonna have a quick glance there we go oh this is open uh, it's not really not gonna we need to push this car out of the way so, we'll be back in a minute, we need some help and move the car out of the way. Got the keys. Is it gonna start? No, it's not, is it? Of course it's not. Ooh. Is it in neutral? <sighs> oh! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh. That's it for today's episode. <sighs> I'm kidding. So the brakes are seized on. Well, mine not going to be an option to push it to the to the sun <laughs> at the moment. For strange reason, they put the spare wheel into the bonnet, under the bonnet, so which is here, which is going to be in our way. So we're going to take this one out. Uh, it's not many things holding this spare wheel in here. Oh, there is a spare jack as well. So, need to get the plugs out, but the plugs...
is in the back of the engine. So. Accessing to the spark plugs is easy. Just take three bolts off from the air filter housing. Take the top off. Couple of vacuum pipes in there to take off. Also is a retaining nut to take the actual pipes off. Very simple, very easy. Takes about five minutes altogether. Then just take the spark plug out and what you can see on the video as well, the spark plug in nearly mint condition, so everything looking perfect. Right, so the plugs is been taken out, all the plugs. I just sprayed a bit of uh, lubricant down there just to moist the cylinders. So as I found out from uh, a friend of mine who told me about this car, uh, he told me around seven to ten years this car has not been moved so it's not that long but still i checked checked everything the plugs looks perfect i mean the lights is not superb well if you can see on the, the oil looks a bit manky but there's no petrol in there which is good which is really good so uh the lights in here, I'm very sorry about the lights. It's a, it's just a weird way how the sun is cutting through. I'm down in this location. I'm going to reveal it in a minute. This is like an old communist uh, warehouse where we are in uh, central of Europe at the moment. I'm not in the UK this time. Uh, which is, if you're following my channel, you're going to notice I traveling across Europe. So if you got an interesting barn find somewhere else around Europe and I might travel there due to my work because I'm not a full-time YouTuber, please let me know in a comment and what sorts of car. Um, yeah, so checked everything. The fuel, fuel is going to be, the filter is clean. So what I think, I'm going to prime the carburetor because this is the carb engine. And if anything manky comes through, I can see through the filter in here, which is quite visible. And because this car is part up previously when we start introducing ethanol fuel, ethanol petrol, shouldn't be too much of a problem because ethanol is, makes everything a bit, bit of a pickle, really. So I, got, I brought some battery. Hopefully it's going to be all right. Uh, and just let's see. Right, it's such a dark, dark place, it's unbelievable. Okay, so we got, this is ground. Okie dokie, and this is positive. Right, okay. It's gonna be interesting. So I just put the battery on, what I'm gonna do just to kick over the engine, just to see on a on a slight note what the engine gonna do. And I'm gonna take a camera with me as well. Come with me into the car. Oh, okay. Got the fan on. Right. Oil. I, can I move this seat back? It's a bit super tight. Okay. So. Just move the clutch. The, the fuel is saying it's half a tank in there. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna go a bit of... Okay, so the engine is turning over. There is a choke in here, by the looks of it. It's so dark. There is a choke somewhere. Well, you're probably laughing now if you own one of these vehicles where is the choke because it's normally I 
I can't see a choke in here. Where is it then? Right, okay. Yeah, it turns over freely, so next thing. I need to put some fuel down there. So probably give a bit of a prime for the fuel pump. I not heard any buzzing, so I'm pretty sure this is mechanical fuel pump on this one. Let's see, put some put some petrol down there. Not too much, just a tad. Thing is when I'm traveling all the time, I can't bring all the tools and everything with me everywhere. So, uh, it would be nice a syringe. And if somebody here to help me, because at the moment I'm by myself. It's a bit creepy in here. Right, okay. Okay. No way! No! Did you see that? I just put a bit of a fuel down there and it's fired off straight away. No bloody way! No chance. Not a single chance. No way. I can't see any fuel coming up to the system. Oh. Right. Sorry with these camera angles, it's not gonna be perfect, but because it's a bit difficult to film by yourself. Right. Okay. Just a Ted Ted fuel just to prime. Prime it again. I don't know if it's got a stuck fuel pump or not. I wish I know where is this. No chance. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we got a running engine. I'm super happy. So, okay, the plan is, let me just put this camera down. Uh, sometimes it's easier when it's two of you, at least you got a cameraman. Um, so, I don't see any fuel coming up to the fuel filter, but because I introduced some fuel to the car, it's fired up straight away, which is amazing. I don't believe it. I mean, this German technology, it's, well, I'm, I'm so, I'm super amazed and I just see a bit of smoke coming out from the exhaust as well, which is fantastic, yeah? Uh, yeah, bear in mind, I checked there is some water into the cooling system and stuff like this. Um, yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get... Take this Jubilee clip off from this side of the fuel filter, fuel filter, and I'm gonna backfill it from backwards, so Hopefully I can prime the pump then. I think probably the membrane is dried out on the mechanical fuel pump. So, or maybe it's an air leakage or, or whatever, but I try my best. So let's do this now. I need some screwdriver. Who's a bit rigid. Oh, 
Go on. Go on, my boy. Jesus Christ. Okay. Right. I wish I had some syringes down in here, but I don't. So, uh, well, you have some fuel. Uh, everything is a bit rigid because this morning we started with, I think, minus five degrees. So, because I'm in this warehouse uh, and there's no insulation, it's about minus 10. So, pipes is a bit rigid. Oh, go on, that's going to be awkward as anything. Oh, good job petrol is not expensive, is it? Okay, so this pipe is filled up. And it's going down. It's good. I don't know if it's got a burst pipe or anything down the line, but because it just started, I put some fuel into the car. The engine is good. I need to do some aftermarket bespoke uh, fuel pump system for these, really. Uh, so when I go find a you know, when I do a barn find, I, I can take it with me. Unfortunately, I haven't got one. I need to somehow make one. So if you have an idea, please drop me down in a comment or link where I can buy something like that. I'd greatly appreciated. Okay, so I, I, I put this pipe back on. Just... Okay. There is fuel in there, that's for sure. Let's tie the Jubilee, Jubilee clip back up. I don't know. I don't actually have a screwdriver on me. A good. Right. I reckon if I can backfill this filter, if I can get the bugger off. Yes, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's completely dried out, the filter, so there's no fuel coming out from that way. Okay, so there is a little bit of a petrol in there now. Right, well, tie this one back up so we got no air leakage. I found the screwdriver in here. It's probably older than me. Yeah? This is an old. Right, a bit of a tad of fuel. Just to help fire up the engine. Right. If somebody here to help me to prime it would be a hell of, heck of a lot easier, but it is what it is. See if she comes alive. That's me yeah, playing with the throttle, yeah? I can't, I can't say I'm... I, I don't know how to explain it if I'm excited or I'm just nervous if it's gonna die off or actually I've done it in the right way to prime that... I'm keeping it two and a half thousand rev. You might say I shouldn't do this, but I learned from a, a, a friend of mine years ago. He told me he was an airplane engineer. And you need the, the choke. The reason to having a choke is to keep the oil pressure up when the engine is cold. No way, it's. it's... 
It's actually working. Bloody hell. <laughs> what you reckon? I'm, I'm over the moon. This is really cool. Really cool. There is a pump in here as well because we pumped it up, the tires. Uh, it's on idle. Have a look. It's on 500, but yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know where is the choke. I may be a numpty, but I can't. I can't seem to find it. Okay, so it's a bit hit and miss on the cylinder, I can hear it. It's a bit juddery, yeah? Wow. Okay. So there is a leak from the exhaust as well. Underneath. Bit smoky. Okay, it's gonna die off in a sec. Let's. Okay. See if see if it starts. Okay, so it starts. Seems to be missing on one cylinder. Okay, so when what what I'm playing with the revs seems to be picking up it's probably some of them the penetrating food I put down in the exhaust as well wow it's a bit smoky in here okay so yes there is fuel in there shouldn't be any leaks Yeah, that trim on the door is a bit iffy, but wow, it's a bit smoky. Okay, so gears wise. Do we have gears? Oh, car is moving. <laughs> Fantastic. We got reverse. Okay. So you reckon, shall I take it for a quick drive? Because I'll just show you the location, right? This is, this is my little winter car, my Honda Civic. And this is the location I am, right? This is, this is, this is a, a genuine barn find, right? This is, I'm super chuffed with this car has been started because if you watch the last uh, uh, barn find I did with the Daimler that wasn't really a successful um, barn find but the freewheeler was perfect the car just dried, died off so um, yeah to be honest with you I mean look at this place it's just an old 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 look at this boat in here man <laughs> look at the smoke <laughs> fantastic I'm over the moon okay Right, so I think what I gotta do is put the air filter back on. Air filter housing, what I did because the car seems to starting, so we're not picking up any dirt. And I'm gonna put the cameras into the car and take it for a test drive. What you reckon? Right, Travis. Still running on three cylinder, but it starts. Okay, here we go. Okay, find find the reverse. Sticky brakes. I have sticky brakes. Even running on three cylinder is fantastic. At least it's running. Ooh, I think you're gonna see my problem in a minute. There is no... I can't see anything. The windows is so dirty.
let's wipe the windows first then go for a go for a little drive in this estate there is there is there we go I think it's somebody's pyjama Wow, this is amazing. Right, there is the pyjama, there is the car, actually out in the light now. Look at this baby. A genuine barn find. Look at the cobwebs on it. Look at, look at all of it. Look at all of it. Look at the dirt on it. <laughs> Fantastic! This is, looks a bit odd. Okay. I think that's broken. But well, what you can see in this car as well, it's one, one wiper blade in the front, one arm. It's actually running okay-ish. Yeah? I absolutely love it. I pulled that trim off because it came off. That's, that's the problem with it. I still, I still can't see nothing. So, this is the view in a bright sunshine. Let's go for a quick drive. We got... Okay, so we're driving now. Super excited. Can't see much. We got second gear? Yes, we do. This is like an old communist estate kind of thing where I am. Private road, so you have to get through here, through coming through some barriers and some gates. So I'm not gonna take it, you know, I'm not being silly and stupid to take this car for a normal drive. Left foot brake. We got some brake. <sighs> Saying we got some brake is not... Right. I took the hat off now because it's been super, 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 super hot. I see the cobwebs, cobwebs flying everywhere. That's <laughs> really cool. We got third gear as well. I'm going up in a slight hill at the moment. Uh, because this is the only way I can try it. I know this this is a dead end, but at least I can drive the car because last time I had a comment, uh, which is fair enough, i would not driven the car, but I couldn't. That was the free wheeler. If you're not seeing that, I keep give you a link in the description or just look above my head. Um, so, yeah. I couldn't drive that car. There is ice on the road. I mean, really bad ice. Right. Some icy roads, so I'm going to be careful when I'm going down there because coming up is easy. It's, it's got some pick up and go, really. Oh, it's some winding noise coming from somewhere. I think, I guess something is slipping. Brakes is not much. Just want to show you this one. Water temperature start going up. Some winding noise going on. I think maybe this is the battery. Sorry, maybe this, this is the alternator. Brilliant. Yeah, some water already on it. 
and I think this trim is so rusted away it's already coming off but the car is driving it's not sanding super healthy I don't know it's an alternator bearing or something going on something like that but it's still working so let's drive back to that little unit and just sum it up I'm super chuffed you probably can tell by the camera the brake okay Got jump out from reverse Okay, brakes start working. I think they seized on a little bit, but there's still some resistance of rolling. So, well, you can expect it's that many years. I mean, it's not like a mega, mega barn find, you know, something sitting for 50 years, but a car stood for 10 years, put some fuel into the <laughs> car and fired up straight away. I think it's just amazing. You can tell these 80s cars how well they built, you know, the, the, this one is came out, you know, in 84. Um, you know, it's just simple, simple, simple engineering, which I think is fantastic. 90 horsepower back in the day, you know, when all the hot hatches were so hot, was more than enough. I love, I love to, I love to take this for a proper road test. I can't drive it on the road because it doesn't have a valid um, road certificate, you know, like an MOT or two for whichever country you're watching from but the little bit of a reason behind I came to look at this barn find because I've been offered this car they told me it's a barn find and you can maybe buy it as well I don't know what you reckon tell me drop it down in a comment I got a few weeks to decide it so by the time this video came out uh, because it's gonna be fresh out within a few days I'm doing this test um, I'm interested to see your thoughts on this one I mean it's a 19, I think 1989 or something, Seat Ibiza 1.5 Porsche system, three-door hatchback with the correct alloy wheels on it. Let me know. Interested to see your thoughts on that. Or if you ever seen one, or you own one. It's still, it's, it, you know, I'm Obviously, I'm not going to go for it because I don't know how good is the brake and I'm coming down a hill and I can see literally nothing through this windscreen. But uh, I think it, it's, it's a nippy little car. I see the water temperature just start gently climbing to the normal temperature wise. So it's not even, not even an issue with that. Maybe the water pump is making that noise. I don't know. It's amazing. Yeah, brakes is nothing. So I think it's seizing on it a bit as well. Yeah, I just went for full brake and I got sticky. Sticky brakes. But it's working. It's a bit of a tight turn coming down in here. It's just a narrow lane. But hey, I'm over the moon, seriously. Sometimes you just get this amazing barn find and you're actually able to start it and just just to prove these cars from the 80s is so 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 well made and reliable and that's that's the era when people want to make lasting product i hope you enjoyed today's episode like i did i did i'm over the moon to starting this car and maybe i'm gonna buy it as well but let me know in a comment if you reckon it's a good idea also i got loads of merchandise through amazon old school garage t-shirt, hoodies, jumpers, everything. So please have a look. I'll leave the link in the description. And if you have a perfect barn find for me, within some region of Europe, UK, please let me know. I leave an email address in the description so you can pop me an email, details, pictures. And I might find you, like this one is in Europe, not in the UK. So I might travel through Germany. I can stop in there, Slovakia, Czech, Belgium, Holland, France. Please let me know. Just subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I see you in the next time. Hopefully with some great, great, great barn find. Thank you so much for watching. 
Bye.